Hey, y'all. Hey, let's get into this intuitive reading, this intuitive message, this guided reading, guided message. Hey. Thank you, Spirit, for lives life. This reading is a legend and for entertainment purposes. Sometimes the tea is hot and sometimes it's not. You have to watch the video to the end to determine for yourself if you're new here. Welcome. And if you're always here, welcome back, Fran. Okay? Um, so recently someone told me that a reading that I did for her was given and so we're just going to tap in real quick. You know how I do and then I'm going to do what I do um, off of this camera. Okay? <laughs> All right, so Spirit is acknowledging we do have a pregnant belly here. It's a lot of emotion. This could be a pregnancy or it could be a manifestation, but there's abundance, fertility, beliefs, support, growth, warmth, beginnings, and in your prime. Um, this is next to um, my, my card that talks about anxiety okay so this pregnancy or this manifestation has given her a lot of anxiety um this is something that she chose when i see that yellow in the background let me know that's her solar plexus energy her choices and then her choices have to or pertain to um passion because i see the pink here in the front um and this is a lot for her um so she's dealing with anxiety depression uh ptsd some kind of trauma okay um she's trying to stand tall i do see water here could be a water sign or could just be emotional um but she needs to focus on the bigger picture and deep breathe and remember this is your choice you make choices and this is the consequences that follow behind your choices in the middle of the deck spirit is acknowledging where you raised in a barn meaning that you need to get grounded whichever way the wind blows that's the way that you go so red lets me know that you need to get grounded spirit is not in the house spirit would like to be invited in the house but spirit does not beg they do not drop um you know letters in the mail like hey i'm out here coming in you coming through no 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 you know what i'm saying it's your job to invite spirit because when the um Student is ready, the teacher appears. Is, isn't that what they say? I think that's what they say. So poor manners, lack of tact, discourtesy, impoliteness, and social grace is required. So that's what they, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Liz life, current energy. Okay, okay. All right, we do got the mask, and so I do see her mouth is covered, and this could be the mask, like, um, you know, getting sick, coming down with an illness, or this could literally be the mask that's covering up her mouth because her throat chakra is blocked. Um, but there's an energy also of protecting my energy, protect it, protection, hiding true feelings, precaution, holding back, disguise, safety, keeping an eye out, security, false self, half truths, and fear. So I do see the number 13 as well. There is some fear here on this card, sending her love and light. There is something that she is afraid of, something, someone that she is, it feels like is afraid of, sending her love and light. Not my business, not my problem. Okay. All right. What does the universe want to say? Make sure all my cards are flipped over. What does the universe want to say? <laughs> okay. To live's life. Okay. Two things. Make better fucking choices. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Now, that's interesting. Because I was just saying choices. Okay. And then drop the fucking ego. So, make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. And then drop the ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm current energy okay so uh on the surface olivia is saying her wishes have come true she's seeking um accolades and fame and rewards and abundance and good health uh subconsciously she's dealing with a heartbreak um with the three of swords in reverse and she's unable to let go of something or someone trying to compromise to overcome sadness in the middle of the deck she continues to ignore red flags um there is going to be a confession. It could be her confession. It could be somebody else's confession. These are my confessions. Um, and she's going to be outsmarted because with the Seven of Swords, it's go time. It's show time. Spirit says it's, it's time. It's been time. And I, I, again, like this is just a download. Like sometimes, you know, Spirit will let you just keep knocking your head, knocking your head, knocking your head against that brick wall. And then finally, Spirit will be like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Because you clearly can't see the forest through the trees. Not my business, not my problem. It's just the download. And so they'll intervene. But let me tell you something. When they intervene, it ain't nothing you can do about how they go about it. Because they've given you ample opportunity to do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? But since you don't know how to do it, they like, all right, boom, I'm going to do it. But the way they're going to do it is not the way that you was going to do it. And so it feels like a disaster. But in all actuality, it's a beautiful masterpiece. It's just going to hurt. It's going to hurt because you got to be able to come off of yourself and out of yourself and out of your ego in order to see what it is that they were trying to get you to see. You know what I'm saying? And when you're just not there, it feels like punishment. 
not my business. Okay. Now we sit back and let the universe do what the universe does.